Okay, everyone, we're on the continuation for lessons uh, seven, which is for the multiple samples. And our next topic will be the uh, confidence interval on the difference of the mean for variance and mo. So, yung previous na ginawa uh, natin, or we, we uh, discuss is where the variance of the population is known. And now, the second one is the variance of the population is unknown. So, for this uh, uh, confidence interval, may dalawa tayong case. The first case is when uh, the two uh, population standard deviation or variance is assumed or known to be the same. So, pag pareho siya, uh, basically, ang gagamitin natin is the t-test. So, t-test na yung uh, method ng, ng pag-compute. For the mean, so, if we know the mean, x1 and x2, and the uh, uh, variance, which is s1 squared and s2 squared, of the two random samples of known size, n1 and n2, for independent normal population with unknown, but equal variance. So, the uh, 100 times 1 minus alpha percent confidence interval on the difference of the mean is followed by this expression. So, kailangan natin data and yung x1 and x2, yung ating t value from the t table where we have the alpha significance level and this one is your uh, degrees of freedom, N1 plus N2 minus 2. While we need to determine the uh, standard uh, deviation of the uh, population. So, we can we can utilize the SP, which is this expression where we multiply yung N minus 1 degrees of freedom with your variance. Then you add with uh, the uh, degree, uh, n minus n2 minus 1 times the variance of the second sample and divide it with the degrees of freedom and you get the square root. So, pag, stand, uh, pag variance ang inahanap, squared lang yan. So, uh, this one is the pooled estimate of the common population standard. So, uh, basically, it's like the geometric meaning of your uh, variance. And, this one is the t-value where n2 plus n1 is degrees of freedom. So, ginamit na natin yung t-table uh, last time sa single uh, mean or single population. Okay, so, gawin ko lang siya lahat. So, uh, just follow, multiply with the square root na 1 over n1 plus 1 over n2. So, pareho lang din dito, magiging plus lang siya. And take note, upper percentage. Okay, now let's have this example. We have 10 sample of standard cement had an average weight percent calcium X1 bar of 90.0 with a sample standard deviation of uh, S1 50, so 50. N1 is 10. So the mean is 90.0 and the standard deviation is 5.0. Then we have N2 and 15 samples of lead dope cement, which is 15, where the average weight cal uh, percent calcium X bar 2 is 87.0 and the sample standard deviation is equal to 4.0. Assume that the weight percent calcium is normally distributed with sa same standard deviation. Find the 95% confidence interval, so two-sided interval. Ko. So, ang alpha natin will be uh, 0.05. Okay, so ang kailangan natin hanapin na t-table is uh, t when this is alpha over 2, so 0.025. And we need to get yung D, which is 
n1 plus n2 minus 2. So this is 10 plus 15 minus 2. This is 22. So 23. So yung hinahanap natin p value. And isa pa ang kailangan natin compute yung sp. So the sp will be equal to the uh, square root ng n1 minus 1 times s1 squared plus n2 minus 1 quantity s2 squared over n2 plus uh, n1 plus n2 minus 2 minus 2. So, first, kundin natin yung t value. So, using your t table. So, punta tayo sa t-table. This is our t-table. So, ang kailangan natin ay yung 0 0.025 at saka yung 20 hundred. Hindi pa rin yung t-table. Ito yung t-table natin. 0 0.025 at saka 22. So, 0 0.025, that's 2.069. So, nakuha na natin yung t. This is uh, 2.069. Yung SP, substitute nyo lang anong body. So, that will be um, 9 times 5 squared plus um, 14 times 4 squared divided by 23. Square root ng answer. So, this is 4.4183. Okay? So, bring ko na siya lahat. So, uh, ito yung SP. Squared siya. Maka squared. So, pag kinuha nyo yung square root, ay 4.4. Yung summary. Okay, now, uh, we want to get the 95% uh, confidence interval. So, ito yung expression. So, alam na natin lahat to. Uh, ito yung wala, pero nakuha natin siya, which is 2.069. So, i-substitute nyo lahat. So, substitute yung SP dito, yung N minus 1, N, saka N1, N2. So, the same N1, N2. Yung SP ay 4. Ito ay 2.069. So, pag kinuha nyo yung value, this will become between 0. Point, negative 0. 0.72 to 6. Point. 70. So, ito yung difference of the interval. Okay. Next, let's proceed with the uh, case 2, which is the case 2 unknown yung variance ng population o variant. So, for this case, ang gagamitin natin ay yung uh, standard deviation ng sample. So, papasok lang siya dun sa loob ng standard deviation. Pareho lang ito nung kanina yung sa Z, di ba? Of known variance. But, take note, this one is we're utilizing p-value where, ito pa rin yung alpha, uh, uh, significant, uh, significant uh, natin, alpha over 2, and yung degrees of freedom will utilize this expression for the degrees of freedom. Take note, for the V, it should be uh, an integer and you need to round down to the nearest integer. Round down, ha? Round down. Okay, so, now, uh, wala na tayong example nito. So, meron naman nito sa uh, canvas natin na activity. Okay, now, let's proceed with another uh, confidence interval. So, this is the fourth confidence interval natin where the confidence interval for the uh, mean of the difference of a paired sample. So, pag paired sample, ano nga to? So, we have one sample and we test it to a two different process and you compare their difference. So, if D bar, this is the average of the difference, is SD, is the standard deviation 
of n random pairs of normally distributed measurement, uh, 100 minus uh, times 1 minus alpha percent confidence interval on difference in mean is uh, mean uh, mu d wala to, mu d is equal to mu 1 minus mu 2 is this one. So, I think mu d. So, I think difference no, no expression. So, wala to. Ha? So, you have this one, d minus uh, t value. So, this one is n minus 1 lang yung degrees of freedom. Yung sd ay yung standard deviation ng sample or yung difference ng, ng two samples or two data and divide by square root ng n. So, halos pareho na lang siya nung sa t-test natin. Okay? n minus 1 yung degrees of freedom. Okay, so let's have Okay, so let's uh, answer this example for the interval for the difference of uh, data of uh, paired sample. Okay, so the journal Human Factor published on 1962, page 375. And uh, to 380 reported a study in which uh, 14 subjects are tasked to parallel park two cars having very different wheels, bases, and turning leader. The time in second for each subject was recorded and is given in table 10 4. So, ito yung sa first car, yung sa second car for the two uh, 14 subjects. And, uh, kinuha yung difference no kada sample. So, minus lang yan. Okay? Nag-minus lang siya. From the column of observation na calculate, so pag kinuha nyo daw yung mean nito, yung d-bar nyan, that's 1.21. So, pwede nyo input sa calculator. Diba? Uh, aralin nyo na lang siya. Dapat alam nyo na kung paano mag-input ng, ng data. Kung hindi, uh, we can discuss it uh, later. Okay. Then, yung SD ay 12.68. Ang tinatanong sa atin ay yung 90% confidence interval. So, alpha natin dito ay 0 0.1 and uh, confidence interval 2 sides. So, ang kailangan natin hanapin ay P alpha over 2 n minus 1. So, 13. So, pag tinuha nyo siya dun sa ating pag tinuha siya dito ah uh, 0.5, ito yun, tapos 13. So, 1 point, ito siya, 1.77. Balik na tayo dito. So, 1 point, this is 1.77. Yung data na. Okay, na. So, think lang. So, we need, we don't, we know the D-bar. So, ito, nakuha na natin. This is 1.771. Yung SD given then, uh, yung N given 14, so you can just substitute everything and you have this data. Okay, now, notice that the confidence interval on mu D includes zero. This implies that at 90% confidence level, the data do not support the claim that the two cars have different mean parking time, mu 1 and mu 2. That is, the value mu D equals mu 1, mu 2 equal 0 is not inconsistent with the observed data. So, meaning, uh, you cannot uh, claim na uh, the two car has a uh, different mean parking. Okay? So, meaning, kasi na kasama yung 0. So, okay? 